communication technology is a pretty broad term. For me, if I was a young person, I'd be like, wow, that's a cool industry to be in. Because if I have any kind of creative talent and enjoy those kinds of things, I got a pretty broad cloth of areas I could dive deep into and be a part of that community. When I was high school age, I was very attracted to photography and filmmaking. From the very beginning, it was the creativity by telling a story and moving somebody's emotions. I really liked that. A lot of the basic things that I learned and what attracted me to the industry is that creativity and that storytelling. As that passion and that industry sort of grew for me, it got a little bit broader into marketing. And so a lot of tools that we have today are used to tell stories. Alteris Group started about 16 years ago where the company that I was working for went out of business. I had a partner and we decided to start something together. So we raised some money, attracted some employees, and we started from about eight of us and we grew it up to there's about a hundred of us now. I'm Megan O'Donnell. I'm a web applications developer uh, here at Alteris Group Canada. So I got into the industry later in life. I studied anthropology originally, and then was building a small e-commerce application without any experience whatsoever, and got uh, really curious about how websites are actually made. I wanted to have a craft. I wanted to build things. I like being able to solve puzzles and to continuously learn. I think it's the best thing about this industry is that it never gets boring. There's always something new to learn. Information communication technology from the outside, it looks very, very complicated. Now's a good time to be in this industry because there are so many tools out there that can help you get to that end product very quickly. So it may not be as laborious and as tedious as it used to be in the 90s. I think that could be a big misconception. But to get into this industry, there are so many different paths. It really depends on what suits you best. Personally, when I made the decision to enter the industry, I decided to go to St. Clair College instead of the university because I wanted the hands-on experience. For people who need or want more structure, I do recommend going to school. I'd also recommend networking. Whether it be in person or online, there are communities everywhere. There's a lot to be learned from other people, and people are so willing to share what they know. It's amazing uh, what other people are willing to put into people they don't even know. So we have the two headquarters we have here in Windsor, and we also have uh, in Michigan in the U.S. Being here in Windsor, I did a lot of work here. So I was used to this community here and thought Windsor would be a great place because of the colleges, because of the folks that are here and the skills that are here to bring that capability of development and writing code and that kind of stuff into our company internally. Where things excite me is you're creating something at the end of the day to solve a problem. So I've been in the industry for 32 years now, and I'm grateful to have all the technology so that we can express these things and you can see it on your phone. I've been able to be alive to see that change. That's pretty phenomenal.